Okay, um, this is me putting together the uh, fixed or photoshopped uh, pictures. So I'm doing it in the Windows 2.6 Movie Maker. I find the older version a bit easier to use, a lot more control in it. So here I'm taking the uh, photoshopped uh, animated f uh, pictures of myself for a section of this animation and I have them in a file obviously so I go to uh, open my movie with window maker go to import pictures find the file select the ones I want drop them into the uh, the program and then I'm just deleting the original photographs and keeping the saved um, animated ones you can do this elsewhere but I, I, I like to have uh, them all the pictures I need and in the program and then delete what I want this is just a process I, I, I find easier myself so that's the last of those out and again you can select all and then just drag them down to the, the video or image line they're all in sequence here um, now each one is about four seconds long so for animation that's way too long now I'm just flicking through them to see if they're in order and then looking at the in top uh, right hand corner I can see that yeah the movement is pretty g okay um, but I need to shorten the distance between each slide or picture so that it runs like a proper an animation so you can just drag you can see this you click between two pictures and just drag it across and that shortens the time in the newer version you can select all and just pick a timeline say 0.5 of a second for every slide that's faster but it's got a lot less control and you end up having to go back in and change slides whereas this is maybe slower to the, at, the, at the start but it's got a lot more control and you know control is everything with the animation because um, at least you know you don't have to go back in and try and find one slide in a million whereas if you have it all right from the start that shouldn't be an issue okay so you can see click in between drag it's a little slow but it's effective now underneath the images you can add audio music etc you can see that in the bottom just underneath the pictures here um, it's a fairly simple program a lot of my students have picked it up quite easily after the first or second go <laughs> if it wasn't easy I wouldn't be able to do it so uh, I highly recommend this um, now this is just one scene from the animation uh, again I've got something like 30 slides here um, each one would have taken 20 minutes to put together so you're talking 600 minutes about 10 hours of work which for is gonna be I hope the math's right there but anyway um, uh, I'm gonna end up with about four or five seconds of animation I hope it should be a lot a uh, lot less you know it should be 24 frames per second which all this should be only one second but I've kind of cheating about a small bit here it's it's not going to be perfectly smooth um, it's going to be about 12 frames per second so maybe this is only going to be about two two seconds of animation uh, for 10 hours work uh, oh joy <laughs> um, I'm just tightening it up again you can see the timeline has it over four or five seconds at the moment and it needs to be reduced um, again just drag drag uh, 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 the closer together the smoother the animation and there are other programs you could use but uh, this is the one I've been tipping away with uh, for a while and again just playing it seeing how smooth it is or if it's if it needs to be adjusted anywhere going back and again you can play it up it's in a small little movie one there you can enlarge this section in the to top right hand corner or reduce it it's uh, again very user friendly 
tighten, tighten, and then it gives you the duration. Yeah. Now, as you go through each one, you know you see the still in the top right hand corner. Jump back, make sure everything's ordered. Play again. There's a little problem there. It's glitchy, so play it. See where the glitch is. There somewhere. Uh, and let's have a look. On one of these. You can zoom in so far, but then that's it. Um, now, because of the flickering light in in this animation, where the fluorescent light is going on and off, I'm adding just a video effect to a few of these uh, pictures. And I'm just putting in that it, it darkens, the uh, picture darkens, so it's like the light is flicking, uh, which is one of the things that drives the character to the edge. So this fluorescent light in the studio space is flicking on and off and irritating him to the point of madness. So let's have a look how that plays. Oops, oh, just back to the beginning. Move that by mistake, drag and drop, nice and easy, and press play. So the flicker there, yeah. Okay, and you can see just right. have a look at that again. I might add a few more dark, yeah. So it's like a f uh, instead of one off, so it's like a flick, you know, as the bulb is starting to die. I think that's better. Okay, I'm gonna save. Save it as a movie file. Uh, edit the name. Okay, so I know where it is. I can save it automatically to my videos. And once you have it in a video format, you can speed that up, double it up, quadruple it up if you wish, so it's even faster and a more fluid animation. Um, it's a small file, so it's saved very quickly. You can look at it when it's finished. There we go. It's again, it's a little slow, but I want that kind of slow menacing for this section. Yeah, and that's uh, the first of the movies.